Today I'll be doing a true accuracy test of the Ruger Wrangler without human error. I'm Dustin and you're watching Guns of the West. Now the way I'll be doing this without human error is by using the Ransom Master Series Pistol Rest from Ransom International and this, I have to tell you, is an incredible machine. And I'm going to put a link down in the description to their website, Ransom International, so you can check it out and some of their other products. I'm so excited to have this machine here on the channel now so I can start bringing you these types of videos going forward into the future. Basically what it is, is it's a machine that holds a handgun between these two blue grip inserts and then it even does the shooting for you and the way that works is it has a trigger bar right here that goes through the trigger guard in front of the trigger and to fire the gun I can just pull down on this lever the gun is fired it even allows the gun to recoil about the same amount that it would in a human hand it comes up it has resistance but it will recoil upward and then before each of your next shots you just put your hand right here and press it down and it brings it right back to the exact same point of aim where it was before for perfect consistency and to make it even more sure that it's perfect this board when I take this out I'll be doing the shooting in this video at the Lee K shooting center and they've got permanently fixed tables and I can just C clamp with two big C clamps this board to the table so it's definitely not going anywhere well let's take a look at how to put a gun into the machine to get started the first thing I need to do is actually remove the grips from this Ruger Wrangler Now with the grips removed, I can put the gun into the inserts of the machine. Here's what one of the sides looks like on the pistol inserts. And you can see it's molded to an exact gun. Now you're not able to buy the machine and just test any gun in it because, again, these are made to specific models. Now this one's actually made for a Ruger Blackhawk because they don't have a Ruger Wrangler. But with just a tiny modification, it works just fine for the Wrangler. You can see where the grip frame fits right in. And it is very snug. It doesn't just fall in easily. You sort of have to push it in. A little bit like that but now you can see that's firmly attached now with the gun in one side of the pistol inserts I'm going to attach to the machine you can see I've already got the other side on the machine and this is a little tricky I found because you have to keep these bolts lined up and make sure this trigger bar comes through the trigger guard so let's go ahead and line up the holes this is especially difficult to do around a tripod <laughs> There we go. Now it's going into place. And just press it in firmly, just like that. Then this ABC plate is next to go on. And then to tighten it all down, there is a washer and a star knob for each of these three bolts. So I'll go ahead and get those attached. Now that I've got them on there and they're somewhat snug, you can see there is a gap. And as I tighten these down all the way, it won't necessarily close that gap completely, but I'm going to tighten it down just until it's good and tight. It doesn't have to be over tightened because you can damage this blue material. And make sure when you're doing this that the gap stays the same size all the way around. That feels just about right. Now I mentioned that I had to make a slight modification to these inserts in order to withstand, or excuse me, to uh, accommodate the Ruger Wrangler instead of the black cock. And that was because I found that I couldn't cock the hammer back when I put the Ruger Wrangler in here. There was not enough of a cutout. So I just had to take a razor blade and just carefully relieve a little more space. And now that hammer cocks just fine. And I'm going to turn it around. You can have a look at it from this side and this way you can see how the gun works before we actually head out to the range or how the machine works if i cock the hammer i'm going to do a big no-no here it's not good to dry fire rim fire guns but i'm going to do it just one time so you can see how this works as i pull down on this lever you'll see the gun fires it would recoil back 
and then I can just press back down to the exact same point of aim where I was before. Also, for adjusting aim at the range, if it's windage, they do offer a windage plate. I don't have that. I uh, didn't spend the money on that, but uh, it does allow you to adjust windage. But what I can do is I can just turn the whole board until the windage is right before I put the C clamps on. For elevation, I've got this screw here. If I relieve this top part, now I can turn this and make adjustments until I've got my sight picture right exactly where it needs to be. When I'm out of the range, I'll just have that aimed right at the bullseye and it won't be able to move at all. So now, why don't we head out to the Lee K Center and test this thing out and see how the machine works and see how accurate the Ruger Wrangler really is with different types of ammo. Here are the types of ammo that I'll be using for this test. Now I do realize there are plenty of other brands out there of 22 ammo, but these are the ones I most commonly find in the store, so I thought they'd be a good group to test. And I'm using bulk ammos because it seems that's what most people buy for their 22s, especially budget guns like this Ruger Wrangler. You can see we've got the CCI bulk, we've got the Winchester bulk, American Eagle, and the Remington Thunderbolt bulk. So let's go ahead and start with CCI. Ransom Master Series Rest does not interfere with loading the gun at all. In fact, it's actually a little nice. It's like having an extra hand to hold it for me. Now, it's recommended that before testing, you fire a few shots just to get the pistol settled into the grip inserts. So that's what these six shots will be. You may notice on these first shots I'm forgetting to push the gun back down after the recoil, but again, these shots are just to settle the pistol into the grip inserts, not to test accuracy, so it'll be just fine. Unloading the Wrangler with its built-in ejector rod is another thing that can easily be done while the gun is in the rest. And now six shots to test the CCI ammo for real. Well, here is the result, and the distance for all of the targets today is 15 yards. Now, you'll notice there's one weird flyer here way off to the right, about oh, an inch and a quarter to the right of the rest of the group. If we don't count that flyer, though, the shots are within about half an inch, and four of them even much tighter than that. You will notice, though, the gun is shooting low, at least with this ammo, so it'll be interesting to see if they all do that. And if this ammo ends up being the best, I'll shoot another group with it to see if the flyer happens again. Now let's try the Winchester. Well, the Winchester did not perform anywhere near as well as the CCI did. What we're looking at is more than a three-inch group, and that's just what we can see, but one shot is not even accounted for, unless that hole in the bottom left of the group is two, but it looks to me like that could have even been a bullet that keyholed its way through the paper. I don't think I'll be using this ammo again. Let's move on now to the Remington Thunderbolt.
Well, the Thunderbolt was still not as good as the CCI, but much better than the Winchester with a group of about an inch and a half, maybe inch and five eighths. Now, for the last target, I'm going to shoot two groups, the American Eagle, because we still need to test those, but then I'm going to raise the point of aim of the gun up and shoot one more group with the CCI ammo. So I'm going to try to put the CCI at or near the bullseye. So let's now go for the American Eagle. And now the CCI one last time. Alright, well down at the bottom we have the American Eagle with a group of just over two inches. And then I raised the point of impact, or the point of aim rather, of the gun up to shoot the CCI. And you can see a nice tight group of just over half an inch, just about right in the middle. CCI is the clear winner of this, and I don't think that'll come as a surprise to most viewers who have used it. It is very good ammo. Now in all of these groups though, the gun is clearly shooting very low. To fix that, I would have to file down the front sight a bit, which might be another topic for another video. Aside from that front sight issue though, I do have to say this Ruger Wrangler is a very accurate gun, at least in terms of consistency, as long as I am using that CCI ammo. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this video today. You got to see another look at the Ruger Wrangler revolver. I know a lot of you like that. And how about that Ransom Master Series pistol rest? What an amazing machine that is. And again, their website will be in the description below. Please don't forget to look there, not only for that, but also to see where to find me on social media and Great Guns of the West products. And don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos. Thank you so much for watching.